Hey, it's Larry Martin here. I have Patty with me. And the reason I wanted to have her in is, first of all, she's amazing. Second of all, I love what she does with seniors and helping them move from maybe a house or their condo onto something else. So tell us a little bit about what you're up to. Yeah, so Larry, you know that I lived in Florida from 2011 yeah. to 2019. And I had a business down there and I just found myself uh, falling into the demographic of helping um, elderly people. Okay. In Florida, we have a lot of retirees, a lot of elderly people, and 25 or 75% of all older widows or widowers are females. Mm. So they're, they're widows. And so I just found myself helping a lot of them. And uh, the other thing that added to their situation when they came to having to sell a home is mm. that their kids didn't live near them. Oh, wow. And so that's a huge thing. Because if you live near your parents, well, you're right there to help them. But I also started to find out that even with kids living near their parents, they're the sandwich generation. Okay. And so I've got my elderly parents that I need to help with, and I'm doing my own thing personally in my job still and very active in my life. And then I've got my kids and my grandkids many times. You know, we're living older, mm -hmm. so we're kind of in the sandwich generation, and even though I want to help my parents, I still, I don't have the time. I love them, but I don't have the time to do it, and I don't really have all the resources and even the knowledge to do it. Mm -hmm. So I just fell into that, and I loved it. And coming back here to Michigan, um, I really moved back for my mother. Right. Just to help her and um, be with her. I just realized how much um, it was I think needed in this area. Right, okay. So I noticed you have a couple designations. Why don't we talk about those? Yes, so the first one is called the SRES, and that's mm -hmm. the Senior Real Estate Specialist, mm -hmm. and that is through the National Association of Realtors. Okay. Now, interesting thing, there's about 1.5 million realtors in the National Association of Realtors, and there's 18,000 of us with this designation. Oh, wow. And I know you're one of them. So that's right. like, what, do the math, 1.2% or less than that? Right, so it's so real important. It's real important, and it's a specialized um, training and certification. The other thing that I just uh, did in the past year was I spent a year in the senior, well it's actually called the Senior Real Estate Institute, and the certification that I received is called a Certified Senior Housing Professional, and that is hardcore. Right. That was like a year of learning so many other things attached to just senior housing and just the needs that they have. So um, just really helped me up my game in that and build a team of partners where, you know, we've got move managers and we've got estate sale companies and we've got, you know, downsizing specialists, businesses and services like that that can really come to the, the family and that and, and help them. Okay. So what I can kind of see is somebody maybe in a situation where the senior doesn't want to move today. Day, but maybe in the next year or two right. they would want to do something and they just want information absolutely they want information they're gathering information they start feeling like my goodness maybe I'm losing losing a little independence and so they start thinking early on and that's why it takes patience Okay. because you've got to stay connected with them and you've got to kind of walk along the road with them. It's more of a long game. And right. the other thing too, Larry, about our elderly people, um, that's the baby boomer generation. Right. I'm on the tail end and yep. we are not so used to being very tech savvy. Right. So we're still into paper. They don't have a lot of emails, and so they, they're not used to that. So even in dealing with them that way, you've just got to do a lot more of um, explaining and, and helping them understand the contracts and really keeping the family involved. Mm. Because it's not just the elderly person. It's this family is coming together and making a decision together for them. And the parents want that. Okay. What would the appointment look like, like an initial appointment with you and I? meeting with a senior? So the first thing we want to do is we want to just really get to know them a little bit and understand why they called us, mm -hmm. yeah. where are they right now in their situation, what are they thinking. Many times they want to know options. Okay. So, And we all want to stay in our home as long as we can. Maybe your first step is bringing in and making it more accessible um, to live by yourself in other words you know putting the the shower grab bars in okay doing some of that to really modify their home to where they can still take care of themselves with help mm -hmm. 
then maybe it's um, in-home care. And then if they get to a, a, a certain situation where they've got to now move out, they do not want to go before they're ready. And right. um, it's you have to just be able to walk along with them because they're making these emotional transitions as well as physical transitions. Yeah. Excellent. So I've seen people that have lived in their homes for 50, 60 years. Yes. And they're very attached. And some of the, the things that you tell them to do, like we have to clean it out, it just, it just takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. So. Yes. And it's overwhelming to them. And so to help them understand that they don't have to do it on their own. Right. And the family, the, the children get overwhelmed. Mm. And they don't have to do it on their own. So we can really take a home when they're ready to do this we can really start getting our plan in place and okay. setting up those stages and you know, making it very stress free and stress free and comfortable for them okay well i'm excited about you working with our team on this yes if you know of somebody that's a senior or somebody that needs to plan this out get in touch with me and then uh, patty and i will come out to the house take a look at it assess the situation and see how we can help you sure appreciate your time have a great day